As the sun rises, the central Kalahari game reserve comes alive with the resounding roars of its majestic inhabitants, the undisputed rulers of this untamed realm. This morning we woke up to find our campsite taken over by some, well not some, a lot, maybe thousands, hundreds of thousands of millipedes. And while I was filming and looking at them, I heard some lion in the distance. So we just switched off the kettle, closed our trailer and went in search of them. And this is what we found. We arrived in this majestic wilderness after spending a couple of days at Kama Rhino Sanctuary. As you turn off the main road towards the Matsuira Gate, the scenery immediately changes. The roads were completely flooded and this made it very slow going, taking us more than 3 hours just to reach the Matsuira gate.
After all the admin was done at the gate, we were very hopeful that the road was going to be quicker inside the park, but unfortunately we were wrong. The pools of water became deeper and deeper and the crossings even felt off camber and the clay surfaces became extremely slippery. But we finally arrived at Deception Valley, just before dark at Cory Campsite number 3. Welcome to an epic overlanding journey through the captivating landscapes of Botswana's Central Kalahari Game Reserve. We explore this untamed paradise, unraveling its remarkable wildlife and diverse ecosystems. Stretching across vast horizons, the Central Kalahari Game Reserve embodies the enigmatic spirit of the Kalahari Desert. Its ancient sands whispers tales of survival, adaptation and the indomitable will of nature. We immerse ourselves in its mysteries, unveiling a realm of unparalleled wonder. As we traverse the rugged terrain, the dust-laden trails lead us further into the heart of the Central Kalahari Game Reserve. The allure of the unknown pulls us deeper into its wild embrace. Each turn reveals a new vista, captivating us with the sheer vastness of this untamed paradise. This should also come with a word of caution though, as the roads can change in an instant, and what may seem as nothing can quickly turn into a disaster if caution is not taken. This is definitely not a playground and all your senses must stay on high alert at all times. So after a very, very long drive through the Passage Valley, we took a, well, maybe a shortcut, a shortcut towards a cut line road that um, goes to Tal Camp. And it was definitely not used for a long time. Uh, the grass is overgrown and the track has almost vanished. So needless to say, there was a lot of seeds that collected on the vehicle. I did not think that it would reach the radiator. The seeds were, was just under the bull bar of the cruiser. But somehow it collected inside there. From now on, I will actually, if I travel roads like that, I will put on the seat net. It does take a bit of time, but yeah, rather safe than sorry. Amongst the grassy plains, the cheetah graced us with their presence in Deception Valley as we were heading towards Passage. The, 
The cheetah, known for its incredible speed and sleek physique, is a remarkable creature that has adapted to the harsh habitat of the CKGR. The short green grasslands serve as an ideal hunting ground for the cheetah. The open terrain provides them with an unobstructed view of their surroundings, allowing them to spot potential prey from a distance. It effortlessly blends with the vibrant surroundings, creating a mesmerizing sight. The contrast of the cheetah's golden coat against the lush green grass and backdrop creates a striking image that captivates the imagination. Be on the lookout and very careful when crossing pools of water after some rains, especially on hot days. These guys will often be found at the edge of these water pools. Deep within the CKGR lies a hidden gem, Passage Valley. We venture into the mesmerizing expanse of the valley, discovering an oasis of life amidst the arid wilderness. Its lush vegetation and secret water source provide sanctuary for a multitude of wildlife, enchanting us with their presence.
So today we decided to take on the Passage Valley. It is quite a very very long drive but we got word that there is a mating pair of lions somewhere in the valley so we are out looking for them. We stopped here at Passage 1 and I must say I'm quite impressed with the campsites here. It is very spacious. It is also very very private, very remote. Uh, this campsite I think it was 700 meters from the valley itself and in the valley the next campsite is about it's more than 10 kilometers from here. So it is very private, very secluded, very remote our type of campsite. After we filled the tummies, we further explored the Passage Valley with a massive storm brewing in the distance. We made our way back to Deception Valley where we spent most of the afternoon removing the grass seeds that had collected in the engine bay. Passage Valley is truly a remarkable stretch in the CKGR. We were pleasantly surprised with all the game and youngsters in the area. The bird life is also fantastic, but you must sit back and take your time to actually find them. The secluded and private campsites are some of the best in the park though. All things considered, there is just no other place like Deception Valley. This is a good day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old ones gone under the knife And I can feel on my skin Beginning to thaw from within Today and not tomorrow It's a good day today and not tomorrow. 
This is Deception Pen in the Deception Valley in the CKGR and behind me there is a Tower of Cherov or a Journey of Cherov. We are quite impressed with the amount of Cherov we have actually seen this time in the CKGR. We are just chilling on the edge of the pen here and uh, enjoying the view. We once again started the day very early and immediately we had a fantastic cheetah sighting. Well, it is the same cheetahs we saw yesterday. This time they were stalking some springbok with lots of youngsters on the pan or in Deception Valley. Unfortunately, it got very hot very quickly. So they went and found shelter under a tree. They are still there. For our afternoon game drive, we might head back to them and see what they are up to. On our way here to Deception Pen, we found another cheetah. This time, this cheetah was actually stalking a oryx, a youngster gemsbok. We did not get to capture a lot of it on the camera. It happened so, so quickly. And the grass is quite tall, so we did not get very good footage. Now this was really a half-hearted chase.
After all the cheetah sightings, this bullfrog sighting was one of the highlights of the trip. So this is Leopard Pen. We stopped here at a shady picnic site to have some, well supposed to be breakfast but it's already past 12 so we're having some lunch. Leopard Pen is often overlooked when visiting the CKGR. There is a great deal of game and predators frequently visit the pen. A bonus is that there is only one campsite at the edge of the pen. We return to our campsite to find that the millipedes have returned. A storm was also brewing in the background. Due to uncertainty from the weather, we had an afternoon braai before heading out for our final afternoon drive.
As the sun was setting over the horizon and the skies gradually started to darken, we were treated by this stunning cheetah once again. The sun rises on our last morning as we start to pack up after a wonderful stay in the CKGR. Before leaving, the cheetah we have seen every day so far also showed themselves one last time. Unfortunately, it was time to leave this majestic wilderness behind and head towards our next destination, Kumaga in the Makari Hari Pans National Park. Remember to remove all of your rubbish from the campsites and drop it at the gate.
Arriving at the Buteti, we were very surprised that it was bone dry. So, needless to say, we did not need the ferry to cross. This map makes the campsites look large and far apart, but when camping you can actually see and hear your neighbor. But most of the time you will be camping alone. All of the sites have a boma, a bry stand, a rubbish bin and a running tap. Some of the sites are right on top of each other. Campsite 3 is our preferred site as you have a stunning view over the Buteti, which is better when it is actually flowing. The ablutions have hot water from solar panels that work. And in general, the facilities are very well kept and regularly cleaned. Some more maintenance. The bushes on the shocks of the companion have mostly disintegrated, meaning that every bump had metal against metal that made a very unpleasant sound. I found an old shock at the workshop in the CKGR. Unfortunately, the bushes did not fit. But with a Leatherman and some of this stuff, we managed to do a bush fix that lasted all the way back home. The river road has stunning views over the Buteti river, where most of the animals congregate. So today we decided to drive to Kumaga in the Makarikari National Park. We were supposed to go to Kubu Island, but it wasn't advisable to go there due to all the rains they've had. Um, it is actually impossible. So we are staying at Kumaga. Um, we'll see how many nights, but just look at the view over the Buteti River.
the night critters decided to join us for our braai. Always wear closed shoes when out in the dark at night. Camping at Kumaga allows you to truly connect with nature. Falling asleep to the gentle sounds of the river and waking up to a chorus of birdsong creates a sense of serenity and harmony with the environment. Kumaga, with the majestic Buteti River and breathtakingly beautiful views, is a destination that promises an unforgettable journey into the heart of nature. Whether you are an avid wildlife enthusiast, a bird lover, or someone seeking solace in the beauty of the natural world, this extraordinary place offers an unparalleled experience that will leave you in awe of the beauty Botswana has to offer. Be careful though, as you will find these gentle giants around every corner.
Packing up is one of the worst feelings when overlanding and having fun, but at least it gives us the opportunity to explore another destination. Our next stop is Mahun to get some supplies for the next stretch of the trip to Maremi. We stay over at Sitatunga camp just outside of Mahun. Sitatunga is a very clean camp and the staff are extremely friendly and helpful. There is a restaurant with decent food and a bar. And a swimming pool to cool off after a very hot day. The campground is spacious but not very private. There are private campsites though, where you will still see your neighbor, but it has its own ablution facilities. The chalet area has its own swimming pool, which was out of order on this visit. The chalets themselves are very well maintained, with a fan, an aircon and an outside shower. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and turn on notifications not to miss our next stretch further north into Botswana, where we experience the magic of Moremi.